Hello YouTube, we're going to paint the base of the stove. This is a split rim off a real old road grader, road maintainer. The thing that does gravel roads with a blade that hangs down underneath it and a big long frame. This is 24 inches these wheels are to here. The barrel's 23, so that's why these metal pieces are here. Because the barrel don't quite fit all the way, even though I kind of pull it to the edge. Got our proper PPE goggles. See what kind of mask that is. The masks are everywhere now. Uh, my little handle for the spray gun, goggles, wire brush. We're going to take some acetone and wipe this down real quick. We did brush it off, and then we're going to go ahead and spray it. We're going to just spray it flat black. If I had gloss black, I might paint it gloss black. We just don't have enough left. But there's the grain semi. Pulling grain in and out of the elevators. It's that time already. I bet it is. We're just going to roll and let you hear it. And that's a regular semi driver. See, I was wrong. Trucker heading out of town. They sure take these back roads a lot instead of the interstate. But anyway, let's get to work. Okay, while the paint's drying, we're going to go and set our bricks up. This sets on four cinder blocks, concrete blocks. So, this stove actually looks bigger than what it is. But, uh, I'm glad I got my cart. I didn't have to lift anything. I rolled it out of the door, onto the cart, rolled it out here, and I had to, well, I did. I had to lift it from there onto here, which I'm setting down lifting it, so I wasn't standing up. And this does have some weight to it, but I got it up there without bending my back or nothing. I'm actually setting down and lifted it, so. Uh, it would have been easier if it would have been upside down to lift it up there, but a little complicated to get it over the stool. But the old stool we use for everything. It'll never get painted. It gets used all the time. So there you go. Let's go inside. And we'll go to work getting our bricks ready. We'll show you what they look like. Okay, this is what the blocks look like. Let's go get the bottom part, the rim, and put up here. I like that pin. I screwed up. I should have put, I cut that pan out to fit the bricks. Well, I got the pan after I did this. Otherwise, you could have just cut the ridge and then put the block on top of the pan. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have to cut out for it. But oh well, it works. Okay, you can do this. Okay, this is what the rim looks like up on the blocks. I kind of kind of squeeze them in between the bricks there because if you push back, you hit both of them. Because split wooden stuff, you know, you might push something back. But I could put something down in the floor so the bricks don't move. But we try not to split too much wood inside. But here we go. Let's get the stove up on it. We're getting feet prints all over our nice painted stuff. And you know what that's like, trying to keep something look nice. Okay, and there you go. We had to replace that pipe because we messed our damper up. So we just started with a new pipe and a new damper. There you go. We're going to try to improve that lever there. We might heat it and bend it a little bit when we got the flapper done. You've seen the last video, I'm sure you did. Well, I had to redo that. There you go. We got to kind of slid a little bit more towards the front. So no hot coals can drop down behind that rim. So you got that fire safety. You got here to there and then to here. And we do have fire stings up on the shelf. So, there you go. If you haven't seen this stove before and you're just checking it out, uh, this is like two thirds of a barrel. Let's see where the ridges are. If you look at a regular barrel, we cut part of it off at the ridge and shorten it. And like I said, I put the playlist in the last video where you can go watch the whole build of this. So, thanks for watching. We'll leave you some pictures.